Welcome back for a second lesson on matrix LU decomposition. In this video, we'll use Gaussian elimination and a shortcut to determine the LU decomposition. The goal of LU decomposition is to write a square matrix A as the product of matrix L and matrix U, where matrix L is a lower triangular matrix and matrix U is an upper triangular matrix. For the shortcut method, our lower triangular matrix L will have a main diagonal consisting of ones and all elements above the main diagonal must be zero. For the upper triangular matrix, all the elements below the main diagonal must be zero. Notice for the upper triangular matrix, the main diagonal does not have to consist of ones. In order for this decomposition to be possible, matrix A must be able to be reduced to row echelon form, which would be matrix U, without interchanging any rows. Also, matrix L and matrix U are not unique, and because we're using the shortcut method, we're going to be using the opposites of the multipliers used in the row operations to obtain U to build matrix L. So let's take a look at an example. We want to determine the LU decomposition of the given three by three square matrix. So we want to perform row operations on this matrix to obtain a upper triangular matrix, which means we need a zero in this position, this position, and this position. Let's start by obtaining a zero in this position here. We want to add some multiple of another row to row two to obtain a zero in this position here. So we can replace row two with two times row one plus row two to obtain a zero in this position. Let's go ahead and do that. First row stays the same. Second row would be two times one plus negative two, that's zero. Two times four plus eight, that's 16. And two times negative three plus five is negative one. Third row stays the same. Now to perform this row operation, we say our multiplier was this positive two. This positive two helped us to obtain a zero in row two, column one of this matrix. Well, if we look at our lower triangular matrix, here's row two, column one. This element is going to be the opposite of our multiplier. Well, the opposite of positive two is negative two. This is how we're going to build our lower triangular matrix. We'll always use the opposite of the multiplier used to obtain the zero in the specific position. Now that we have this matrix, let's obtain a zero in this position here. So again, we want to add a multiple of another row to row three to obtain a zero here. Let's replace row three with negative three times row one plus row three. First two rows stay the same. For the third row, we'll have negative three times one plus three, that's zero. Here we'd have negative three times four, that's negative 12 plus four, that's negative eight. And then here we would have negative three times negative three, that's positive nine plus seven, that's 16. For this row operation, our multiplier was negative three. Negative three helped us obtain a zero in row three, column one. Here's row three, column one of our lower triangular matrix. The opposite of negative three is positive three. So this element is positive three. Now let's obtain a zero in this position here, which is row three, column two. We need to add a multiple of row two to row three to obtain a zero. Well, half of 16 would be positive eight. So let's replace row three with one half times row two plus row three. Again, our multiplier is a multiple of another row that we have to add to the given row to obtain our zero. So here the first two rows stay the same. One half times row two plus row three 
1 half times 0 plus 0 is still 0. 1 half times 16 is 8. 8 plus negative 8 is 0. Now here we have 1 half times negative 1, that's negative 1 half, plus 16, that would be 15 and a half, or let's just say 15.5. Notice how we now have an upper triangular matrix. We'll call this matrix U. And then to complete our lower triangular matrix, notice how our multiplier in this case was positive 1 half to obtain a zero in row three, column two, or this position here. The opposite of positive 1 half is negative 1 half. So now we have our LU decomposition. Here's matrix L and here's matrix U. So to put the pieces together, we know A equals L times U. Here's matrix A, the given matrix. Here's the lower triangular matrix. And here's our upper triangular matrix. Let's go ahead and take a look at a second example. Let's start by obtaining a zero in this position here. Again, we need to add a multiple of another row to this row to obtain a zero here. So we're going to replace row two with negative one half times row one plus row two. So the first row stays the same. For the second row, negative one half times two, that's negative one plus one, that's zero. Negative one half times four is negative two plus negative four, that's negative six. Negative one half times negative four is positive two plus three, that's five. Third row stays the same. Our multiplier is negative one half, so we're going to put a positive one half in row two, column one of our lower triangular matrix, which is here. So this element is positive one half. To obtain a zero here, let's replace row three with three times row one plus row three. First two rows stay the same. Then for the third row, we have three times two plus negative six, that's zero. Three times four plus negative nine, or 12 plus negative nine is positive three. And three times negative four, negative 12 plus five is negative seven. Our multiplier is positive three, which helped us to obtain a zero in row three, column one. So this position here in the lower triangular matrix would be the opposite of positive three or negative three. And then for the last step, to obtain a zero here, we'll need to add half of row two to row three. First two rows stay the same. So one half of zero plus zero is zero. One half of negative six is negative three plus positive three, that's zero. And then we'll have one half times five, that's five halves plus negative seven, which is negative 14 halves, which would be negative nine halves. So this element here is negative nine halves. Notice our multiplier here was positive one half to obtain a zero in row three, column two. So row three, column two of our lower triangular matrix will have an element that's the opposite of positive one half or negative one half. So here's our upper triangular matrix and here's our lower triangular matrix for our LU decomposition. So putting the pieces together, we know that A equals L times U. So A is the given matrix. L was our lower triangular matrix, which we built using the shortcuts. And U was the upper triangular matrix, which we found by performing row operations. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.